Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone viruses. Well, iPhone viruses are very, very rare and it's almost impossible for you to get a virus on your device. Even though it's almost impossible, there is still a chance that you might get a virus on your iPhone. Now, there are few like different ways in which you can get those. Now, first of all, and the most likely one is if you have a jailbroken device. I know jailbreaking it's basically gone now but there are still a lot of people that do have a device on an older iOS version which they can actually jailbreak. And jailbreaking on itself it's not that dangerous if you don't like use like third party sources and like crack tweaks to actually installed on your device that's when it gets really really dangerous now the other thing will be links of course from safari if you just go ahead and just like tap on different links you might get fished which is basically like different pop-ups requiring you to add your information and they show like different pop-ups for like reliable sources like let's say in login maybe for one of your social media something like that you might log in and that way you're basically giving away your account and the other thing will be apps if you install apps from like third-party sources not from the app store there might be a chance that, that those apps are actually not what they supposed to be and they might be really really harmful for your device your privacy and your data now when it comes to links also another one is a virus that you get on your calendar this is very very common for a lot of users so basically you're tapping on the link it will add like a calendar to your calendar app and we're going to talk about that in a minute here i will show you guys how to remove that but these are basically the few different ways in which you can get a virus on your iphone also connecting to like free wi-fi on like public spaces is not a good idea that might also be another cause for your iphone to get a virus but how you detect whether your iphone has a virus or not there is of course no direct way to actually do that but there are a few different things that will let you notice that something is wrong with your device First of all is the battery usage. If you just take a look at the battery usage on your iPhone and you see that your iPhone is actually consuming a ton of battery without any reason at all, there might be a chance that something is actually using the battery of your iPhone in the background. The other thing might be pop-ups. You get different pop-ups on your screen of your iPhone. Now there are a few different pop-ups that you get on Safari and other web browsers when you go to like different websites. Some, some like this is of course not that serious. You can just go ahead and close these. These are not the pop-ups I'm talking about, but you get, you get like different pop-ups on your iPhone. And the way to know that is that when your iPhone gives you a pop-up, you cannot get out of an app. If you get a pop-up from your iPhone right here, if you just swipe up, you won't be able to get out of the app. But if it's a fake one like that, you will be able to get out of the app. Another thing is, of course, data usage. If your iPhone is using a lot of data and you know you're not doing that, but just an enormous amount of data being used without any reason, that's also a sign that something might be wrong with your iPhone. There's, of, of course, heating as well. If you see your iPhone heating up without any reason, especially when you're not using it, that's also a sign and of course using battery and your iphone overheating will come also with a slow performance of your iphone especially if you have a newer device take notice if your iphone is working really really slow then of course you should take a look at your device and do a few things that will help you prevent your iphone from getting viruses or remove them completely if you have any on your iphone and i will show you guys a few tips and tricks a few steps that you need to follow to make sure that you delete the viruses that you might have on your iPhone. So as I said, some of the main sources from where you can get a virus on your iPhone or any attack of that kind will be, of course, websites, will be third-party apps, jailbreaking, and also different messages on iMessage. So here are the few things that I suggest you do if you think something is wrong with your device. Now, the easiest way, of course, is to go ahead and first of all, update your device. You need to make sure that you always have the latest update on your iPhone. I know a lot of people are too afraid to update their device. They think that the battery health will drop or their device will 
perform really, really slow, but it's actually always better that you update your device to the latest software update. Make sure you have the latest update here. Make sure you have automatic updates enabled on your device, especially security responses and system files. Then once you have done that, the other step you can take is reboot your device. So go ahead and just shut down your device. Shut it down from here, leave it for like a couple of minutes to five minutes and then boot it up again. And then come suspicious apps. If you see apps on your device that you don't know of, you know that you haven't installed them on your device, you must delete them immediately. Now, of course, those apps might be on your device, but might not show up on the home screen. What you can do is head on to your apps library and just take a look at the list of the apps or head on to your settings and go here, go to battery. Now, just notice that if you have any like app that is doing something suspicious on your device, they will consume a ton of battery and it should show up all right here at the list of the apps that you have under the battery usage. So if you see those apps, immediately delete them from your device. Another thing I suggest you do is take a look at your Safari's website data. So the websites will store data on your iPhone through Safari. Now what you can do in this case is head onto your settings and find Safari. Now of course, if you're on iOS 17, you will find it on the main page there, but with iOS 18, we have it here under the apps section. Go here and make sure you delete the data, the website data and the history for your Safari browser. Once you're done that, you're good to go. Now, as I said, these websites might download stuff, download files into your device. So now, once you have deleted the history and the data from Safari, what you need to know is also where you have stored your downloads that go through Safari. So you will have two different options. So let's go back here. Let's just go once more to Safari. So when it comes to downloads on Safari, you go here, you will have two different options on your iPhone or on your iCloud drive. So what I suggest you do here is go ahead and go to your iCloud drive or to your drive on your local like how hard hard disk of your iPhone. So you either go to iCloud and then go to iCloud drive or you go under iPhone storage right here under the, under the general settings. Once you go here, make sure you find your files. So the files that have been downloaded will be right here on this section called on my iPhone. You go there and you will have here the list of apps that you have actually downloaded or have been maybe downloaded automatically through Safari. Once you go here, you can tap the edit button and you can just go ahead and delete any of these files. And if you save your downloads under iCloud, then go to the top of the settings app and then go under drive right here. And then you can go to manage storage. And from here, you will be able to basically delete all the data from iCloud. And last but not least, if nothing works, you can just go ahead and factory reset your iPhone. Now, of course, when doing this, you need to make sure that you have a backup of all of your data, because in this case, everything on your iPhone will be wiped out completely. So head on to settings, go under general, and then scroll down here, transfer or reset iPhone. And from here, you can reset your iPhone to the factory defaults, which means that everything will be deleted. So you can see right here, we have erase all content and settings, everything will be wiped out. So you need to make sure, of course, that before doing this, you have a backup of your data. And as far as for the calendar, like virus or whatever you wanna call it, that's actually much easier to remove and much more direct. What you need to do is head on to the calendar app and then go to calendars right here. Now, usually when you have a calendar like that, like a virus like that, you will see a ton of different events showing up here on the calendar, but you need to go to calendars. And if you see something right here that of course you don't know, which might be something like this one right here, you can just tap on the I button and then tap on delete calendar, delete it, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is how you can remove all different viruses from your device. How to know, of course, whether you might have one or not, and the different ways in which, even though it's very unlikely, you can actually even get a virus on your iPhone. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.